Oh, okay. We're all saying you're welcome in general. There you go. Uh, headphones powered by the sun. All right, Rich Jamiro is checking them out. He joins us with today's Tech Smart. Rich, good morning to you, sir. Hey, good morning to you, Chris. Good morning to you, Megan. Happy Wednesday to you guys. All right, if you've ever used a solar gadget, I can probably predict what it was, a calculator. Well, now a new pair of headphones aims to give you infinite playtime thanks to the power of the sun. The sun's rays travel millions of miles to Earth to warm, soothe, and light up our world. These solar headphones harness their power. I thought it was an interesting concept. Lauren Dragon is a headphone expert at the review site Wirecutter. I applaud anything that people do to try to make something more environmentally friendly. Urbanista's $199 Los Angeles headphones are solar powered, thanks to this strip at the top that converts light into energy. So what I found when I charged them was that if you were in direct sunlight, they'd charge about 2%, give or take, um, every hour. It's going to take a little while to go from completely empty to completely full just using the sun. Using the app, you can see how the Bluetooth headphones start charging as soon as sunlight hits them. Other types of light will charge them too, but even slower. I personally found that they weren't my favorite sound quality. They're a little bit bassy and the ear cups were kind of shallow, so they weren't the most comfortable either. So if solar's not for you, Dragon recommends Anchor's Soundcore Life Q20 headphones for $60 or less. And they're comfortable, they sound good, they have adjustable EQ and they have a 40 hour battery life so you don't have to worry about needing to charge them that frequently. For earbuds, the Earfun Free 2 are her budget pick for about $50. There's nothing fancy or fussy. There's no app to mess around with. Out of the box, they sound good. You connect them and they work. The battery lasts for about seven hours and they're water resistant too, but you probably don't want to go much cheaper than that. Between shortages of Bluetooth chips and supply chain issues and increasing cost of shipping, Companies can't keep things as inexpensive without the quality suffering. I think they definitely nailed it on the name with those solar headphones, Los Angeles. I mean, so perfect. All right, if you want more information on any of the headphones or those earbuds I mentioned, you can go to my website. It is richontech.tv. Megan and Chris, who knew we'd have supply chain issues with Bluetooth headphones, but it's the world we live in right now. I know, it seems that way. That 2% of charge per hour, though, that, that, that's a... You know what? That was a little bummer, but I got to say, it was really fun to like move the headphones into the sun, watch them turn on the charging, move them into the shade, they stop charging. That, cool. that was kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It's it the is. little things in life, Chris and Megan. <laughs> exactly. Good All to right. see you, Rich. Thank you, Rich. 544 is the time.